Hi, and welcome to episode two of the CircuitSpecialist.com instructional series. Today, we're continuing to discuss stepper motors and we'll show you how to use an Arduino program to drive a large NEMA 34 stepper motor. As within our past program, we're going to continue using the OSEP R3 Plus controller. But in this video, we'll be driving a larger stepper motor. This particular motor is the 85 BYGH 450A-08, a four-wire NEMA 34 motor with a holding torque of 42 kilograms per centimeter. This motor has a D-shaft to allow for mounting of the coupler and operates at 4 amps. In our previous post, we used a ULN 2003A to drive a NEMA 23 motor. However, with this NEMA 34 motor, that won't be possible because the ULN 2003A cannot operate with more than 0.5 amps of current. So in order to supply 4 amps of current, we selected the CW250 motor controller up to 5 amps and used the PS-150W-24V power supply to power it. The CW250 is designed to send the signals in sequence to the windings. The inputs on the left are CP positive, control pulse positive, where you'll connect 5 volt control voltage from the OSEP R3 Plus. CP negative, control pulse negative, where you'll connect the digital pin telling the motor to step. Each signal it receives equals one step of the motor. This is connected to digital pin 9 for our setup. CW positive is control winding positive, 5 volt control voltage from the OSEP controller. And CW negative is control winding negative. This indicates the direction of rotation. If a 5 volt signal is sent, the motor will rotate clockwise. If ground signal is sent, it will rotate counterclockwise. H slash D and ground will not be used. On the right side of the stepper motor driver, we have VCC plus, which is your input power coming from the voltage positive DC output of your power supply. Ground is from your power supplies voltage negative DC output. A plus is the A positive winding. This is the red wire for us. And A negative is the negative side of the same coil in that winding, which is the green wire. B plus will be the yellow wire, which is the positive wire from the second coil, where B negative will be the blue wire, which is the negative side of that same coil. Just to refresh, we created a stepper motor controller in part one of the series, which you can see here. You can operate this using some simple push buttons or how we've incorporated a wireless control fob, which I'll show you in a minute. By pressing one button, we can get the motor to rotate clockwise, and by pressing the other, we can get the motor to rotate counterclockwise. By adding the RXD 4140-434, we're able to get a wireless stepper motor controller. And by adding a potentiometer, we're able to adjust the speed of the stepper motor while using either the buttons or the wireless key fob. As I mentioned earlier, we use a wireless key fob and the RXD 4140-434. This is a latching system, so what you do is press one button on the key fob to turn on the motor and press it again to stop, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Well, we hope you learned a little bit about stepper motor drivers and how to build your own control system. Stay tuned for future episodes and be sure to visit www.circuitspecialist.com to view more of our motion control products. Thanks. Have a great day.